Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back. Today we are here with a tag video and I literally haven't done a tag video in what feels like years and years and years. But the lovely Aisha from Simply Aisha created a beautiful tag video for all the fragrance lovers and I was tagged in that video. So I definitely wanted to do it. The questions are so juicy. I have a lineup of fragrances here that I'm going to share with her questions. So thank you so much to Aisha for tagging me. I I absolutely love her channel. If you haven't subscribed to her channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I will link it down below. She does incredible fragrance content, but as well as lifestyle and luxury. And her collection is pretty amazing. And she has a lot of fragrances that I like. So if you follow me for my taste in fragrances, you'll probably like a lot of the fragrances that she talks about. She does a lot of in-depth reviews as well as casual reviews and like her fragrance of the week, etc. So definitely check out her page. Again, I will link it down below. Show her some love. Go watch her video also. I will link it down below and comment. And yeah, I am so excited to answer all the questions. They were a little hard, but I got it down packed. I got all my fragrances here. So let's get into it. But before we do, please subscribe if you haven't already and also leave a comment down below. And if you've done this tag, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to watch what you um, answered and let's get into it. Before I get into this video, I just want to quickly mention that there are two new releases that just went on Tisted Liddy's website and they are pretty incredible and you don't want to miss it. So I wanted to let you guys know that Tamine came out with a new fragrance called Bravi and I am obsessed with this one. Truly obsessed. This is really beautiful. It's super soft spoken, kind of citrusy, floral. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Um, and Twisted Lily does have samples. So you can go ahead and grab a sample from them if you're not ready to get a full size bottle. I will have an in-depth review and like show these on a lot of content because I do love them so stay tuned for that but I wanted to mention it because they just were launched and then of course Zerjoff mm, Zerjoff <laughs> came out with Erba Gold you guys know how I feel about Erba Pura it's one of my favorite fruity scents and now there is Erba Gold so definitely check out Twisted Lily for the full size or a sample size they are both absolutely incredible um, you can use my code Karina10 to get 10% off I recommend getting a sample for sure and look out for the video where I talk way more about them, but I wanted to shout them out because they just launched very recently. Now let's get into these juicy questions from Aisha. So the first question is, what fragrance makes me feel like a boss babe? And I knew exactly which fragrance that was because this is a fragrance that makes me feel very accomplished, very driven, and like it makes me go after my goals because when I was looking for my house. Um, this was my first home to purchase. I wore this fragrance the entire experience of it because I really wanted to make a memory out of it. And this is Chloe Nomad. This is a beautiful fragrance. I think that it's so unique. It's very elevated when it comes to designer fragrances and it definitely stands out from the other fragrances that Chloe has to offer. It's just not your like typical fresh musky floral scent that I find Chloe fragrances smell like. This one has a note of oak moss. Ooh, it makes it so interesting and so captivating. This smells very elegant, very put together, very grown. Let me go ahead and spray it on the paper and I will um, list it down below. I like to think this as a vibe. I don't pick up every single note, but I definitely get this like earthy dry down. It sounds weird, but trust me, it adds so much complexity and character to this fragrance. Oh, it still has the Chloe DNA in there. Um, you will pick up that fresh kind of floral tone, a little bit of a musky vibe. And then there is this like dry down that's kind of earthy and it just smells like a very grown, sophisticated woman that has all of her ish together. The next question is my go-to bedtime fragrance. I have quite a few that I love to spray before I go to bed that kind of gives me that comforting 
uh, feel, but right now it's a new one that I just acquired and it is from Ellis Brooklyn. It's called Vanilla Milk and this just feels so warm on the skin. It's so cozy, it's so inviting. It has that creamy dry down, that like tonic texture, but it's not overly done where it feels sickening sweet. And I love that when I spray this, it lasts literally all night long. When I wake up, I can still smell it. And it's like this skin scent, but the scent is there. It's just beautiful. Oh, even though it's a like tonic fragrance, there is a bit of this freshness to her, so it's not too dense, which I love about this scent. And I was actually very surprised by how much I love this. Um, to me, it's more of a casual, cozy scent. You know, you're cozying up on the couch, watching a movie, maybe you're by the fireplace, you're gonna go to bed, this is the scent that I would wear. It's so comforting. It smells like a warm hug. And I really, really like this one. So if you love very like tonic fragrances, definitely on the sweet side, you will pick up that vanilla. You are going to really enjoy this one. So check it out if you haven't yet. So the next question is what is a hug in a bottle? And honestly, those are the type of fragrances that I would go to bed with. So even this one that I just mentioned, which is vanilla milk would go perfectly with that category because this does smell like a warm hug. But another fragrance that I equate to that feeling, some of you might be like, whoa, really? I just think that this is what this smells like to me. I don't go to bed with this necessarily, but it smells so cozy, like someone wrapped their arms around me and they have the warmest body temperature. Guidance from Amouage. I know, I know some of you are like, what? Because the way people describe this fragrance is more of like sexy, sensual. I've heard people say that this smells like a sexy, naked woman. It smells so warm and inviting and cozy. It's definitely a floral, a little powdery, sort of mysterious, but like silky at the same time. It's a very unique fragrance, I'll tell you that much. Very long lasting, so I, I only do a couple of sprays and I am good to go with this one. The bottle is absolutely beautiful. It smells very feminine to me and I just really really like this one But to me it does smell like a cozy warm hug So the next question I absolutely love because I'm here for a sexy fragrance and honestly There are so many that I could put in this category anytime I wear this combo I feel so sexy and grown and seductive and I get the most amount of compliments with this combo. And I am talking about a combo that I've mentioned many, many times, especially if you follow me on TikTok, and that is Love Don't Be Shy and Delina. Listen, this is a weapon. This is seductive, it's sexy, it's grown, it's a woman in a bottle. Like this beautiful, mysterious rose scent that is extremely unique, mixed in with a fragrance that is heavy on that marshmallow, that sugary sweetness. Oh my God, my husband loves this combo on me too. It's his favorite scent bubble when I wear it and I think that they just go hand in hand. Now I have Delina Exclusive. This is more creamy and it goes really well with Love Don't Be Shy, but I also have paired it up with the original Delina and that just adds a little bit more grownness, okay? But you can definitely use Delina Exclusive. This, this is my go-to combo when I just wanna, you know, I wanna to get what I want to get you know I, I wear this combo and you best believe I'm gonna get what I'm asking for <laughs> So I really really love this combo. I think love don't be shy is beautiful on its own By the way, I'm holding love don't be shy extreme because my original bottle of love is finished That's how much I've worn it this year. It's completely finished. So I have to go and replenish my bottle but um, I just feel like these fragrances are stunning They will always remain in my collection and listen, I used to be the biggest hater of love Don't be shy. I literally had a bottle said I hated it didn't think it's worth the money returned it and then I repurchased it and something clicked in my head when I started layering it with other fragrances and I feel like that is one of the best fragrances that I have to layer with any fragrance like I can layer love don't be shy with literally every category and it just adds sexiness to any fragrance so love 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 this combo and um, listen I've gotten a lot of things with this combo <laughs> 
So the next one is very interesting. It is, what is the fragrance that I have that I don't wear but I can't part with? And honestly, I have quite a few of them because they remind me so much of my mom because she had them in her collection. And so I have this attachment to them and some of them I was gifted from my mom. And so a fragrance that I really don't wear anymore but I really do love having in my collection because from time to time I'll go and sniff it or I'll just spray it to on my wrist and walk around with it around the house is Flower Bomb from Victor and Ralph. This is still a very popular scent and it's still quite attractive. It's, it's a beautiful fragrance, don't get me wrong. It's not anything that I don't like. I still very much like this kind of DNA but I just don't wear it that often. There's a lot of patchouli in here. It's very heavy on the florals for sure. Vanillic in the dry down. And it smells like a really great feminine fragrance. Like it's very generic, I'll be honest. Um, it's, it's still quite long lasting. I do find that the juice is really well blended, but I just don't gravitate towards it because I have so much in my collection. But I love having this bottle in my collection. It reminds me of my mom. It reminds me of gifts that she's given me. It reminds me of looking at her fragrance collection and sneaking a few sprays on myself so this is a scent that I will always have along with Angel along with Black Opium um, there are a few that I have in my collection that I don't grab but I still really really love them and I'm definitely emotionally attached to them the next fragrance is a fragrance that I would recommend for a beginner that wants to smell unique and when I think of beginners I think of fragrances that you could pick up at Sephora that are a little bit more affordable rather than a niche fragrance and so for me when I look at the lineup at Sephora I would probably go with YSL Libre. I think that this fragrance stands out it's very popular for a reason it's modern it's like a fashionista in a bottle it's elegant and it's bright and it's a fragrance that really does smell amazing it really does I love the combination of lavender and vanilla they did it just right and and I think that it's beautiful. It smells a little rich, a little classy. And so to me, this is unique when I line it up with other fragrances at Sephora. It's not just your cookie cutter, fresh floral fragrance. There's a little bit more oomph and depth to this one. So I love it. There is also Lib Intense, but honestly, that one is a little bit more generic. I do love that one more, but this I find it's more unique than that one. And in that mix, I will also like to throw in Chloe Nomad because I do find this very unique. It's beautiful. The next question is all about fragrances that are hate for many people. What is a fragrance that I love and people tend to hate? And you know what? I am I am going to give this fragrance all its flowers. I am going to shout it out and I am going to say that I don't understand why people hate this fragrance so much. Like this has become a controversial fragrance and I'm talking about black opium. Yes, I still have a big ass bottle and I have a backup of this bottle. I don't get it. Like I, I really don't get the hate. I think that this fragrance is still one of a kind. It's a great evening scent. It smells beautiful. It smells sexy. It smells seductive. And I am kind of confused when people equate this fragrance to smelling ghetto, trashy. I don't get it. What is wrong with that? It's sweet. It's deep. It's warm. It's a little sensual. It's kind of mysterious. Like if you're wearing an all black outfit, Hello, this is stunning. Little black dress, you got black tights on, some boots or a little pump. This is, this is beautiful, this is beautiful. It smells grown, it smells lavish, okay? To me, this smells really, really gorgeous and it's a fragrance that lasts well. It's been around for so long and it's still really loved by a ton of people but then when you come on the fragrance side of the internet, there is definitely a lot of trash talking with this fragrance and it's one that I still wear, you know? I don't wear as often, I'll be honest, because my collection is so large and not because I don't like it. I I still wear it I really like it for like colder days too and it's great to layer with other deeper fragrances so yeah for me this is still a love this is gonna remain in my collection probably forever I'm gonna give my daughter a bottle and I just I'm, I'm confused with the hate
So next we are talking about fragrances that are overhyped that I currently own. And honestly, there are a few, but this one, these two, I have two. I'm cheating, I'm cheating girl. I have two and for me, sorry guys. Donna Borning Roma from Valentino is way too overhyped for me. I don't get the craze. I don't get the obsession with this DNA. I find it's a little generic. Yes, okay, okay, let me, let me rewind it. Yes, it's a great crowd pleasing DNA. Like I get why a ton of people really like this fragrance because it's that typical fruity floral DNA with that vanillic dry down. So a lot of people are gonna gravitate towards it, but I, I think it's definitely a little over height based on other fragrances that you can get at Sephora. And I just, I, I, it's, I'm not a huge fan. Now, if we talk about the intense version, I love that one. I think it has a little bit more depth and more character. And this one just smells good. And the next fragrance that I think is way over hyped, and I was so excited to get this that I did a blind buy. And guys, I do regret it. This is a Trop Reeves from Louis Vuitton. I just, I am confused. I am confused by how highly spoken this is. To me, it it kind of reminds me of Donna Borning Roma. Like I don't get the hype on this one at all. It's fresh, it's sweet, it's floral, maybe a little fruity. I get a ton of vanilla in this one. I think it's supposed to be, it's supposed to have some sort of chocolate note and I really don't get that. It's a nice fragrance, it's super feminine, but honestly, when I spray it, I don't feel, I don't feel, you know, the hype. I don't feel the obsession with this one and I don't get a lot of compliments and all of that stuff. So I'm kind of confused. I think that uh, it's definitely overhyped. I regret spending my hard earned money in this one and I barely have worn it. I told myself I'm gonna wear it because hey, she's expensive. The fragrance, I'm gonna continue with this. And the other question, I'm actually gonna continue with this fragrance. What fragrance is on my chopping block? Right here. This is the one that's on my chopping block. I think that I'm going to get rid of it. I'm gonna probably sell it because it did cost me a pretty penny and uh, that way I can buy something else. So this is one that's probably not gonna remain in my collection. I might even gift it to my sister. She probably really liked this DNA, but for me, I just don't wear it. And I like to declutter my fragrances quite often. Like at least every three to six months, I'm gonna do a declutter because I don't wanna like, I know my collection is huge, but I don't want it to get like even more than what I have. Well, to an extent. <laughs> The next question is, what was my last fragrance purchase? And this was my purchase during the Sephora sale that just ended, and that is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. I know I am late to the game, guys. I'm so late, but I picked this one up. I sampled it in stores, so I know what it smells like. It's still in the box because I have to do a huge Sephora haul for you guys, but I really, really like this one, and I wanna try so many from the brand because I'm so impressed, and this smells just so delicious and so good and I really wanted to layer this with their new cherry ambition which I am obsessed with and I can't stop talking about it especially if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok I've talked about it like too many times since I got it but this is my latest purchase and it smells heavenly if you like a vanilla like a sweet gourmand vanilla you're going to really enjoy this one the next question is what is on my fragrance wish list and honestly my wish list feels like it is endless every day I am adding something new and the way I like to track that is by using Demi Rowland's app I actually think that she did an incredible job with this app it's called sniff if you're not on there check it out I am on there under Karina Waldron and I love that I can keep my collection nice and organized talked about my signature scent and then there is a section for all of your wish list and I'm gonna show you guys hopefully my camera is going to pick it up so these are my fragrance wish list these are currently some of the scents that I really want to add to my collection I know I have a ton hopefully when I when I you know edit this you guys can clearly see what I'm talking about but there is so many on this list it goes on and on and on I like I said I add something on there every single day it's a little crazy but just to name like let's say my top Three, I really want to add Baby Cat from YSL. It seems to go 
out of stock too many times. I really would love to add Oud Nude from Guerlain in their private collection. It just sounds incredible and I did try a sample and it's just, oh, it's so, so good. There's another one that I really wanna try and I really, not wanna try, I wanna have it in my collection which is Floor Narcotic from X Nilu, Hilu. I'm probably butchering that. Um, Quinton Beach is the perfumer and he does incredible fragrances. And so those are some that I really wanna add. Oh, I also wanna add Vanille Antique from Byredo. I've already sampled it and it smells absolutely incredible. And last but not least, 100 Silent Ways from Nishani really want to add this one it's kind of on the way so there are a few that i have to take off the list that i've already added to my collection so those are just some that i definitely have my heart set out on probably not this year like come on girl i did a lot of spending i might reserve it for next year okay <laughs> And for the very last question, Aisha has asked, what is the number one fragrance for life? That's hard. I love a lot of my fragrances, but I will have to say, and yes, I know this has become mainstream and so many people have this fragrance, but I'm gonna tell you guys, I don't give a damn. I'ma wear it, cause I love it. And it smells so good to me. Aside from getting a ton of compliments, it smells so good. It makes me feel really put together, elegant, lavish, and that is none other other than Baccarat Rouge 540 from MFK. I love this fragrance, especially the Extrait de Parfum. I think it's so beautiful, it's so well blended. The longevity, the performance, everything is like 10 out of 10 for me, honestly. I just, I can't go wrong with this fragrance. No matter the occasion, I can wear this and I love the way that I smell and it's pleasant to everyone else. So this is a fragrance that will definitely be my number one for many, 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 many years. Um, my bottle is almost done. I had to stop wearing it because look at this dent. This is insane. So I'm definitely gonna have to repurchase and I think I'll just go with a big bottle because I wear this very often because I like to layer this with a lot of my fragrances, but I also like to wear it on its own and I, I'll overspray this one. Girl, I will go ham and it just it smells so good. So we are done with the tag. Thank you so much to Aisha for creating this tag. You did such an incredible job and thank you for tagging me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and saw something new and cool. All of the fragrances that I mentioned will, link, I will be linked in the description box. So check it out there. As always, thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you for coming on this page and watching my videos. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and join our YouTube family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, where I upload on a daily basis. And I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao!
And for the very last question, Aisha has asked, what is the number one fragrance for life. That's hard. I love a lot of my fragrances, but I will have to say, and yes, I know this has become mainstream and so many people have this fragrance, but I'm going to tell you guys, I don't give a damn. I'm going to wear it because I love it and it smells so good to me. Aside from getting a ton of compliments, it smells so good. It makes me feel really put together, elegant, lavish, and that is none other than Baccarat Rouge 540 from MFK. I love this fragrance, especially the extract, the parfum. I think it's so beautiful. It's so well blended. The longevity, the performance, everything is like 10 out of 10 for me. Honestly, I just, I can't go wrong with this fragrance. No matter the occasion, I can wear this and I love the way that I smell and it's pleasant to everyone else. So this is a fragrance that will definitely be my number one for many, 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 many years. Um, my bottle is almost done. I had to stop wearing it because look at this dent. This is insane. So I'm definitely going to have to repurchase and I think I'll just go with a big bottle because I wear this very often because I like to layer this with a lot of my fragrances, but I also like to wear it on its own and I, I'll overspray this one. Girl, I will go ham and it just it smells so good. So we are done with the tag. Thank you so much to Aisha for creating this tag. You did such an incredible job and thank you for tagging me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and saw something new and cool. All of the fragrances that I mentioned will link, I will be linked in the description box. So check it out there. As always, thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you for coming on this page and watching my videos. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and join our YouTube family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Instagram on TikTok where I upload on a daily basis and I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao! done.